coming out? Yeah, that's right. How long is each episode? I believe each one, depending on the, you know, how much we can raise, but I think it'll be with three minutes would be great, a great size to really get this uh, story across. That three we're, minutes? We're yeah. Tell. yeah. Five three-minute episodes. Yeah. So 15 minutes. You have yeah. a really cool story that'll span for 15 minutes. That's right. Really cool. And I can say nothing about it because they've already <laughs> told me I, can, I can't give any details about it because we wanted to, you know, for the fans to be uh, surprised, shocked, and awed. By shocked it. and awed. <laughs> we're hoping. We're hoping a little bit of that for sure. Well, can you give me a little bit of like what to expect? Are we going to see Prime Minister Harper in there? Well, it's funny you should a uh, ask that because I think believe the first episode will be set on July 1st, and um, I will can't tell you if the if the PM is going to be there, but on, on Canada Day, Canada and Day, it's be a Canada Day adventure. But yeah. uh, we're talking to those people. All right, he has to like pay in to get his picture. Like he everybody else, you know, we're awesome. it's, we're a democracy, right? Oh, for sure. We're not giving away too much when we say this. We're saying the first one, it's almost a real-time adventure, just a three-minute beat-the-clock kind of adventure. Downtown Ottawa, Parliament Hill, on Canada Day. Um, we're trying to set it up so it feels like a very natural situation to make this thing as big, dumb, patriotic as it possibly can be for the first episode. Um, and then we'll roll out with the uh, subsequent episodes and try to have, the, the, there will be a continuing narrative between them, but each one has to stand alone as well and give the viewer like they're bang for their buck. They want, just, it's just got to be entertaining, pure and simple. Yeah, one question, is this going to be contemporary? Because when I talked to Richard Comley, he originally wrote it in 1975. In the to be distant in the future, future of, of 1993 or 96, something like that. When yeah. Canada ruled the world. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. We're pretty close. We're, we're there, we're there, we're there. We're yeah. almost. We're, we are drawing inspiration from that. And that is a lot of what, what makes this thing important. And that there was an idea at the time of Canada merging on the world stage and becoming a, a, a sort of an, an enlightened world power. Um, so what we're trying to do with this thing is it's, it's got to feel familiar, you know, it's, it's sort of the not too distant future. We're leaving that a little bit open to interpretation. Um, it's got to feel familiar and relatable, but at the same time we want to use some pretty fancy gadgets that may not be available today. Oh, fair enough. We're getting that nice balance where the old fans are happy with the work, I'm not alienating anybody. You know, uh, Kalman had that experience last year when he first started showing the poster around. Um, there were fans come up to him at, at, uh, at Fan Expo last year, and they weren't offended by someone changing their thing there because it's good work. Kalman's amazing. He does really good work, and that's key here. And Sam, as a director, that's why we went to him. He does really good work. So as long as we respect the property, respect the character, and just do good work, we're going to bring in new audiences. Who's I mean, we're getting people who like 20-somethings who kind of remember it because their dad had, a, had an issue. Um, and then guys like me who grew up with the books themselves. So, I don't know, it's kind of a dream come true, really, quite frankly. But it's good, and I'm glad to be part of this, at least yeah. talking to you gentlemen about this. Thanks. And introducing Captain Canuck to <laughs> a lot of new viewers also. Oh, we appreciate it. But, uh, hey, do Mr. Gold justice, please. Oh, yeah. No, no the, vil the villain is equally important. <laughs> a hero can only be measured by the value of his villain. For sure. Otherwise, it's just like, you know, hey, stop or I'll say stop again. Is he going to be like having Timbits and stuff? Uh, we're going to do. Like there there will snacking? be. There, we ha we will probably try to fit in a few nods to Canadiana and some of the stereotypes out there. But it's it's more. Uh, we want to take it seriously. At the same time, it's, you know, you can't take yourself too seriously. No, yeah, Timbits is serious. It's part serious of business here, for sure. That in our beer. Exploding <laughs> moose. Exploding I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> Exploding moose. We can cut that one right on the <laughs> Episode three. Just wait for it. I, I'm not going to say any more. I'm not going to say any more. <laughs> Spoiler. Moose. There you go. Spoiler alert. I Exploding like moose. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, gentlemen. And well, thank you. It. you it's a pleasure meeting you guys. You too. Nice to meet you too, Doctor. Well, there are two opportunities. And I'll maybe step down for you. But there are two opportunities. But I want to be beaten up by beaten up. Yeah. That's, uh, that is one of the purpose. Okay. It's a little bit of a lie. It's a little bit of a lie. It's a little bit of a lie.